Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about the rotation of the patient. So, so let us learn about the rotation of the patient. So the first question is when do you say that the patient is not rotated? For saying that the patient is not rotated, you should take into consideration the vertebrae from T1 to T5. For each vertebrae, we will have a vertebral body. So from T1 to T5, you will have to take the center of the vertebral body and you will have to draw the line keeping the center of the vertebral axis, vertebral body has axis. So if you see, these are the centers of the vertebral body. First five, T1 to T5. And through this center of the vertebral body, you will draw a straight line which is passing through the center of vertebral body. Then you will see where the medial end of the clavicle lies. Now you will find the distance between the center of the vertebral bodies, distance through the distance between the line drawn, taking the center of the vertebral bodies has the points and uh, the distance between the clavicle, medial end of the clavicle. If both these distances are equal distance to each other, then we say that the patient is not rotated. That is the distance from the vertical line to the med medial end of clavicle should be equidistant on both the sides. Then we say that the patient is not rotated. Second, Rotation to right. When do you say that the patient is rotated to right? To say that the patient is rotated to right, it is same. Here also, you will take the vertebral body and you will see the center of each of the vertebral body. And taking into, the, seeing the center of, verte center of uh, each vertebral body, taking into consideration and then draw a line. Once you have drawn a line, keeping this center of vertebral body has axis. Now you will see the medial end of the clavicle. These are the medial end of the clavicle. So if you see these both, the distance between the vertical and vertical line and the medial end of the clavicle. So if this distance, x distance is more than y distance. So the distance on the right side is more when compared to left side. So because the distance on the right side is more the distance between the line and the medial end of the clavicle on the right side is more than the left side we say that the patient is rotated to right okay now if the patient is rotated to right what do you see so first abnormality which you see when the patient is rotated to right is this one here if you see these are the vessels which arises Okay, actually what are these? These are actually manubrial structures. Either manubrium, you can know the sternum. For the sternum, we have manubrium. Either the manubrium of the sternum or superior vena cava or vessels which are arising from the arch of iota. So all these from the arch of iota, all these or any of these can become prominent when the patient is rotated to right in this region. Um, in this region, either manubrium, superior vena cava or vessels from the arch of iota become prominent, thus resulting, thus mimicking a mediastinal mass. Because it mimics a mediastinal mass, the patient might be misdiagnosed to have any tumor um, because of this uh, rotation. So when the patient is rotated to right, manubrium, superior vena cava, vessels of arch of iota become prominent on the right side. Now, what happens when the patient is rotated to left? Now, when the patient is rotated to left, this is the image showing the patient rotation to left. When the patient is rotated to left, if you see, when do you say that the patient is rotated to left? See, this is the vertebrae. Now, if you draw a line, taking into consideration the um, center of the vertebral bodies, then it looks something like this. Now, if you see the distance between the this line and the medial end of the clavicle, this is medial end of clavicle, this is medial end of this clavicle. So, if you see this distance of y, 
on the left side and the distance of x on the right side so the distance between this vertical line and the medial end of clavicle is more on the left side when compared to right so when this distance is more on the left side when compared to right then we say that the patient is rotated to the left okay what happens when the patient is rotated to the left first and foremost thing is this is the aortic arch actually aortic arch is completely normal but because the patient is rotated to left the aortic arch will appear to be it actually appears to be enlarged second one more important thing is if you see this lung on the uh, left side is a little blacker when compared to the right side actually it is not even blacker but normally in some x-rays this rotation may cause one lung to appear blacker the one lung may appear it may appear blacker when compared to the left uh, opposite lung it may appear blacker when compared compared to the opposite lung just because of this rotation defect so what are the common causes of rotation so when can the rotation occur the causes of rotation if you see rotation can occur whenever the patient is drowsy because he cannot stand properly or if the patient is ill ill adults where they find difficulty to stand or even in little children who are very difficult to handle or maintain the position in them the rotation can be decreased can be the rotation can be seen thank you